Welcome to the video presentation of MDesign Gearbox 2012. We want to show how to design and calculate a well spool gear drive. For detailed information about the calculation parameters, please note the manual. We start on the input page, where three groups of materials for shaft, gears and lubration are present. As you can see, there are default materials, which can be used or replaced by using the MDesign database. It is recommended to set the application factor and the shock coefficient at first. As next, we set the DIN as calculation basis and fill the requested safeties and lifetimes. Afterwards, we go to the graphical input page. The middle window is the 3D view and on the right the element explorer. We start with the shaft design. Therefore, we put the shaft section into the gear designer by using drag and drop. The shaft section has to be fixed on the coordinate origin. This is easily done by snap layers which change colors when they are brought together. To specify the shaft there are two possibilities. You can do that in the 3D view or in a special shaft editor which allows some special features. We will show you the second possibility. Like in the 3D gear designer you can see an element explorer, a property dialog and a graphical view of the shaft. In addition, the graphical help shows you a 3D model of the shaft. To create a shoulder, we have to add more shaft sections by using drag and drop. Now we change the dimensions of the section in the property dialog. We want to design a gear connection by using a feather cake rope. Like before, we set the position and dimension. The gear wheel is mounted by a press fit connection, so we place it on the shaft. Also, we specify the dimension and position. We press a close button to exit the shaft editor. The shaft will be transferred to the 3D gear designer. By using the mouse wheel, we can zoom the view and by pressing the third mouse button, we can move it. Now we create the gear wheel. To change the properties, we use the property dialog. To place the gear wheel on the shaft, actual snap layers were displayed on the gear wheel and shaft. The position in the actual direction can be set to the property dialog. More shafts and gear wheels can be created similar. To connect them, drag the shaft by pressed Alt K to the other. At the base circle of the gear wheels, snap layers will appear. A current connection is symbolized by a blue sign. If selected, you can change the efficiency of the connection liberation and actual offset. As a third element we add a bearing. This will be dimensioned and placed on the shaft like the gear wheel. We can also specify the bearing type geographical selection. Like this, we add all needed bearings. Now only the force elements were missing, so we place them on the shafts. The force elements can be calculated or assigned with a fixed value. Now we can start with the calculation of the individual elements. This should be done before starting the calculation of all elements together, so it is easier to verify the safeties. It is recommended to start with the calculation of the gear pair by double click on the symbol. The calculation module is loaded. Click on the calculate button or press the F10 key to start the calculation. When the calculation is done, the output page appears. The important results are displayed on the top, like the torque, rotation speed and the reached safeties. The other results are stored below in table form.
In addition, the graphical help presents the results graphically. As the T's reach the required safeties, we close the gearing calculation and use the appropriate button. Now we will start the shaft calculation by a double click. The shaft editor appears with the bearings and resulting forces and torques. To get to the calculation, we switch back to the input page, where the calculation module is already opened. Again on the output page, the important values are summarized above. These are, in addition to the safeties against fatigue fracture and residual deformation, the bearing reactions. The graphical help shows the tension and moment curves. They can be displayed also enlarged by clicking the respective button. Use the drop-down menu, you can call the desired graphics. We close this view and go to the 3D gear designer to start the bearing calculation. By a double click the calculation module is loaded. Important values such as required lifetime, reliability and stress index can be checked again. Also besides the speed, the load in form of actual and radial forces are presented. Moreover, it is possible to limit the choice by geometrical aspects and manufacturers. Gearbox will set each bearing by default as a radial ball bearing. We change this into a radial tapered roller bearing. After starting the calculation, a catalog with bearings that fit the pre-selection will appear. If a bearing is chosen, the corresponding shaft is geometrically adapted to the dimensions of the bearing, and the calculated results are displayed on the output page. Instantly apparent are the expected lifetimes and structural safeties. If you are contentent with the bearing decision, you can set bearing calculation to repeat. Thus, in the complete calculation, the bearing selection is repeated automatically for this bearing. Repeating these steps for all gear elements, the final calculation can be started. Select the entry All Elements and start the calculation. The output page now presents you all calculation results like the result for kinematics, transmission, toothing, shaft calculation and bearing. The document language can be chosen independent from the system language. The result can be printed or saved as HTML, RTF or in the against changes protected PDFA format. We hope you enjoyed our presentation of Endesign Gearbox 2012 and get an impression of the work with the software. Thank you for your attention.